if an apple fall, does the moon also fall? This falling apple gave birth to calculus and physics. I'm gonna tell you a story. The story of Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton was born on December 1642. One day he was six. They got an act country in 1665, right? All of us started an apple fall on his hand. And then he, he looked at the sky and saw a moon. And then he said if the apple fall, does the moon also fall? This who solved the falling moon problem, he invented calculus. He also used calculus to lay the foundation of physics. He formulated F A B equal to no. minus F B A F equal to M A plus equal to zero F at D equal to G M one and two over R. Today I'm going to solve a beautiful problem equals two tangent x. So y equal to sine x over cosine x. So y prime is equal to the derivative of tau prime bottom minus the derivative of bottom times top over bottom. And y prime equals to to the cosine x cosine x minus minus sine x. equals to to cosine x square plus sine x square over cosine x square y prime equals to 1 over cosine He looked at the sky and saw a moon. The apple fall does the moon also fall. Moon also fall. F equals GM1 times M2 over R squared. This falling apple gave birth to calculus and physics. One day in 1665, a prepared mind with sitting under an apple tree with all of a sudden saw an apple fall from the tree. And with we the fall of that apple. the picture of the universe. In an audacious proposal for his time, Newton proclaims that the force pulling apple to the ground and the force keeping moon in orbit around the earth are actually one and the same. Newton unified the heaven and the earth in a single theory, which he called gravity. Why should we study physics? Physics is the study of motions from everything from trains, Saturn v that landed men on the moon some 45 years ago, before Isaac Newton, we were shrouded with the mysteries of superstition. People believed in all sorts of different kinds of spirits and demons. So, back in the Middle Ages, for example, people read the works of Aristotle, such as this, one, 
heavy objects fall faster than the light objects 2, objects fall with constant velocity 3, the Earth is in the center of the universe. In fact, a single question led to disprove every single hypothesis of Aristotle, if apples falls, does the moon also fall? And the answer was, yes. An answer overturned though, thousands of years of mystery and speculation about the motions of the heavens. The moon is in free fall, just like an apple. The moon is constantly falling toward the earth. It. Newton created calculus after realizing that mathematics of his time was incapable of calculating the trajectories of a falling moon. He worked out the motion of the moon, of planets and other objects in the sky including a comet, believe it or not, this is perhaps one of the most important works ever written by a human being of the 100,000 years since we evolved from Africa.